little shootout, which I always like. I thought it was a battle royale. A battle royale, a cage match between FreeBSD and Linux. Who will be the last operating system standing? <laughs> both free operating systems, both great operating systems. We will have experts on both sides who are going to install and uh, and uh, and then see which operating systems perform better tasks. There's a daemon tasks. in the studio. There's a daemon in the studio. The two teams, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce them. From uh, camera left, Murray Stokely, actually camera middle, and then Matt Olander. <laughs> Matt Olander and Murray Stokely. They're from the FreeBSD team. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. And joining them for good luck is Beastie, the yeah. FreeBSD mascot. Yeah. No, no, that's Don Marty from Linux Journal. That's not Beastie. Here he is. There is Beastie, the free BSD mascot. How can they lose with a big fuzzy animal on their side? I don't know. That's a daemon. That's a daemon. Now, well, we're going to ask him. Is it? Do they like daemon or demon? We'll have to ask Beastie yeah. how, how he likes it. Now, for the Linux team, one man, but one man's all they need. The editor of the Linux Journal, one of the <laughs> foremost Linux experts out there, Don Marty. It's great to have you here, Don. And. Uh, Chris Sabona is here as he's going to be our referee. We didn't get the striped shirt in time, Chris. I'm sorry. Well, that's okay. I'll really. get you a whistle, though. Stripes okay. aren't good on me. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it'd be vertical. Yeah, yeah. Oh, vertical, vertical right. stripes. Slimming. So we should say, by the way, Murray is from the FreeBSD Mall, a great place to get your FreeBSD distros at FreeBSDMall.com. <laughs> Matt is from Off My Server Incorporated. Both, both Murray and Matt are FreeBSD developer from the FreeBSD right. team, so they really yeah. know what they're doing. Like FreeBSD Zealots. Would be yes, exactly. Zealots. Chris, uh, Zealots or Zealots? Which do you prefer? Either way. <laughs> Damon. They like Damon. No, there's now, one right way. Chris DeBona, what are we going to do first? Uh, well, um, both the teams have actually, uh, they've started an install. They're going to do an install. Machines, See so. how easily it's installed. Exactly. So that's going to be happening as the show goes on. Okay. Um, they also have another machine that they've already pre-installed for us so they can sort of show it off in the next segment. Have the installs already begun? Uh, no, they're just about ready to. Okay, I told them so, they're ready to do it. So we should get a flag or something. Why don't you drop Beastie on his head, and that will be the signal. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, yeah. on three. One, One two, two, three. Get installing, now. ladies and gentlemen. Okay. All right. So we're, during excited. the show, we're going to install. We'll check in with them and see how they're doing. And then a little later on, we're going to run the other machines to show some, co some right. things that are kind of show off the operating system. Why they, people would bother. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So they're in a race to install the operating system and do something. Yes. Okay. It's it's not a it's not a well you know it's not it's I, not I just like wanted to check. It's, it's got the print. Yeah. I Let's start. I was confused. Maybe some people out there might be confused. Well, do you understand now? A little bit better. Patrick uh, Cheap week, and we got a shootout going on right now between FreeBSD on your left and Linux on your right. The two best known free operating systems, and both of them really great operating systems, kind of based on the ideas of Unix, although FreeBSD is true Unix, whereas Linux is based uh, on something Linus was running basically to replace Minix, but it became more and more Unix like. We'll talk about that in a second. I don't want to get into that. Well, let's just see how they're doing. They're installing Linux right now. Murray Stokely and Matt Olander from the FreeBSD team. Don Marty from the Linux Journal doing the Linux. How's the install going, Murray? Everything all right? We finished and we're up in KDE right oh, now. Oh, man, that's pretty good. You're done. How many disks uh, in your install here? We just used one. We just installed packages from the first CD-ROM. Ah, got... now this is where you have an advantage in BSD because of the port system. You don't have to install at all. That's exactly uh, correct. We've got a, a number of different packages, uh, so you can use ports or our binary package system. We've got four different CDs there. So there's quite a few CDs. Yeah, you want Java, uh, OpenOffice, right. all the standard stuff. So you install the basic install, but enough to get X running yes, right. and, yeah, and to get good. KDE running. Although so. I have to say, in all fairness, Leo, we did a text install, and I was looking over at Don's, and definitely points on the it's install. It's pretty. Definitely. Very nice. I have looking. to say that. Don Very Marty nice is installing SUSE Linux, and uh, where are you in the install right now? I'm on the third CD. Oh, but see, you installed everything, didn't you? I'm installing a lar large selection of yeah, stuff. Yeah, okay. So, so that's really not a fair thing. The GUI install is nice on Linux. Well, the, the great thing about the SUSE install is that it comes up and gives you a big menu that you can drill down. Right. And it'll describe which hardware it's auto-detected. It'll give you a partitioning scheme for right. whatever hard drives you have on the system. Right. And you can accept the default, or you can go ahead and give it a custom partition scheme of your own. So for beginners, really, there's a lot to be said for uh, SUSE. It uses YAST as its kind of configuration tool, right? Yes. Yeah, and, and that's compared to, say, something like the RPM Manager in Red Hat or... 
Well, what, or Blue Curve. What, what would it be the comparative uh, thing in Red Hat? Red Hat has uh, the um, a package manager called RPM. RPM, yeah. And Red Hat has an update service that's called the Red Hat Network. That's their new thing that they just started doing. Yast kind of does all of that? Yast is a general purpose control panel that gives you everything from installing software to setting up your monitor settings. You're all done. You're, you're going to reboot in a second and you'll be uh, in your SUSE Linux. So I think this is a tie, although even the B FreeBSD guys were given Linux props for the graphical Very install. Nice. This ours is probably faster. Theirs probably looks better. Right. But if you're a geek, the the the, the text-based install tells you everything you want. I mean, you know what's going right. on. It's a lot there. more geared for the server environments that we're right. often installed with. We've got network installations and such. Right. And and you have partitioning in there and all that stuff too, right? Sure. But you have to kind of do it yourself. Now, to be fair, on the Linux side, if you want to write an XML-based configuration file that specifies that your it full all. install, right. you write one XML file and you don't have to touch your machine at all. Right. That would be if you were doing a bunch of network installs. You could just roll them out. Sure. Never touch a key on any of them. Never touch yeah. a single machine. Yeah, that? we've got a very similar uh, Okay, system. all right. <laughs> I can see the battle has begun. When we come back, well, I think I'm going to have to give uh, equal marks. Don't you think, Chris Bono, to both guys? Both of them got it done in, the, in a record amount of time. Linux is running. Seuss, uh, FreeBSD is running. When we come back, we're going to take a look at some cool features that each operating system specializes in on these machines. So when we come back, we'll see that uh, in just a little bit.